Hey, what's up guys? It's KeenXF and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be checking out the GameDS Hebe P1A RGB 7.1 surround sound gaming headset. Now, once again, I want to give a huge shout out to GameDS for actually sending this out to me for review and video purposes. But before we get started, if you want to join my official channel Discord server, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on the first link in the bio. By doing so, you can stay up to date with what's going on in my channel, as well as some maybe exclusive future giveaways. Now enough of that, let's just jump right into the review. Starting off with the design, the Hebe P1A has a lightweight metal frame and what seems to be two thin strips, and plastic ear cups. It features a nice thickly padded headband and oversized ear cushions, both covered in pleather, as well as a retractable and bendable unidirectional mic, though it is a bit short for my liking. It really is quite big and bulky, and because these ear cups aren't 90 degree rotatable, it's somewhat of a nuisance to have them resting around your neck. On the center of the back of both ear cups, you see a Gambia's logo in plastic surrounded by this glossy material, which can sort of be a fingerprint magnet. On the cable of this headset, you can find some onboard controls. You have the volume up and volume down, the button with the microphone icon will mute and unmute it, and then the button with the headphone icon will toggle vibration. More on that later. On the back side of this control hub, there's also a clip in which you can attach onto your shirt or something so it doesn't get in the way while in use. Another noticeable thing on this headset are the RGB rings that are on the ear cups. They look really nice. It can also be controlled via this button on the side of the control hub. I will go ahead and cycle through all the possible lighting effects. So the vibration feature this headset has is honestly pretty cool. Once you turn it on, the headset will indicate that you've turned it on by making the small vibration. When you're listening to bass heavy music, you can literally feel it, and the same goes for say gunshots in games. It's almost like the Hypersense feature that Razer has in their Nari Ultimate headset, except this is less expensive and has more RGB, and it's wired as well. Moving over to the technical side, the Hebe P1A has 53mm neodymium drivers. They have a super bassy sound to them as well. It has a sensitivity of 110 decibels, an impedance of 32 ohms at either plus or minus 15%, a mic sensitivity of negative 43 decibels to 3 decibels, 35mm vibration units, and a 2.5 meter or 8.2 feet long gold plated braided USB cable. This headset also has a noise cancellation system which works pretty well, but in fact, a bit too well. When you're talking into the mic, you can barely even hear yourself. I had to go into Windows settings and manually crank up the microphone volume, and even then, it was still kind of quiet. Now in terms of comfort, the Gamedays Hebe P1A RGB is honestly quite excellent. The giant ear cushions are also quite deep, making it so that your ears won't fold against it, causing less fatigue. Now, when you put this headset on, these strings right here will pull, automatically adjusting to the size of your head. And now, I'll do a mic test for this headset. So I am now talking into the mic of the Gamdius Hebe P1A RGB gaming headset. As you can hear, it sounds pretty thin and distressed, and like stated earlier, it's pretty quiet as well. So you can actually toggle with effects this mic has within its software, Gamdius's Hera software. There is these silly little things called the magic voices, which are basically these. The dinosaur voice. The chop voice. The male voice. And the female voice. You can also mess with microphone echo, which can basically somewhat emulate that of a karaoke machine. But really, other than that, there's nothing worth mentioning about this mic. And so, that'll end the mic test. And now to get more thorough with the software, you can obviously toggle between whether you want the surround sound on or off. Over here, you can drag and drop the position of each of the virtual speakers. Over here, you can change out the volume of either ear cup of the headset. This tab here is the equalizer. I already have it set into the sound that I prefer, so I'm not really going to mess with it. But as you can see, there are many different presets that you can choose from. Though I still recommend customizing the EQ manually to make it sound like the way you want it to. Over in this tab, you can choose which environment you want the headset to sound like, in which you can choose to mimic the sound of that of a small, medium, or large room. In this last tab over here, where all the funky mic effects are, you're able to actually raise the pitch of your sound by however many sharps or flats you'd like. 
I personally find that to be a pretty unique feature, despite the fact that I don't really use it that much. You can also toggle the vocal cancellation with this slider down here. Now that software is out of the way, we can head into pricing for this headset. This thing will normally run you about 80 bucks on Amazon. Now considering its features and its overall comfort, I think it's a relatively fair price, though obviously a lot of improvements could be made. That being said, if you are interested in buying this, I will have an affiliate link provided down in the description below. Now for the pros and cons. For pros, I really love how this headset sounds overall. It's got that really nice and bassy tone that I personally enjoy immensely. The vibration feature it adds also greatly improves the bassiness of the headset too. I also really like the extra features it has, such as the RGB lighting and the control hub, which I find to be extremely convenient. The ear cushions are also very comfy and fit my head perfectly, as it will, like stated earlier, adjust your head due to the strings on the side of the ear cups. The auto-adjusting headband is also padded quite nicely, which I find enjoyable as well. Moving over to cons, there are a few that I will address. The first one being that the mic really isn't all that sensitive, and your teammates may have trouble hearing you in-game due to how quiet it is. And it's also a bit short in terms of length. Another con that's worth mentioning is the fact that, again, it's very big and bulky. The ear cups just sort of rest awkwardly on your shoulders when you have the headset resting around your neck. And the metal frame of the headset is also unnecessarily large too. The Hera software also isn't the most user-friendly software either. It's just a bit too cluttered and lacks some of the most essential settings in my opinion, such as mic muting or voice monitoring where you can hear yourself talk through the mic to let you know how loud it is. So rather than say the magic voices, what I just now mentioned could have been implemented instead. The last con I could think of that kinda isn't one, but rather just me nitpicking again is the fact that the glossy finish on the back of the ear cups are a bit prone to fingerprint marks, but since when you're wearing it you can't see anyway, so I suppose it's not that big a deal. So to wrap it up in a nutshell, would I recommend the Gambius Hebe P1A RGB gaming headset? The answer is somewhat of a yes, though it really is a great headset, the awesome sound quality, the amazing RGB lighting, and the outstanding comfort and extra features, it's just that mic quality that it's a it's a bit of a bummer to me. Now, if it were just improved some more, I would have definitely given this a solid yes. Again, if you are interested in checking this out, I will have an affiliate link in the bio for you. Anyway, that'll conclude my review of the Gambius Hebe P1A RGB gaming headset. Once again, I want to give a huge thank you to Gambius for setting this to me for video purposes. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Be sure to join my Discord server while you're at it. I'm KeenXF, and I'll see y'all next time.